Excuse me. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'm the new principal, Dr. Metcalf. Nice to meet you, Andy Cyrus Buffy. I want you to know, I'm not a scary principal. I'm an approachable one. I don't see any reason why we can't be friends. Well, I do see one reason. Me? Your attire, specifically your leggings. When was the last time you read the Jefferson Middle School dress code? I didn't know there was one. Of course there's a dress code. You are here to learn, not distract each other with your body parts. Who am I distracting? Because that would be a first. I want you to know I have a sense of humor, but I'm choosing not to exercise it right now. I hear if you don't exercise a sense of humor, it loses muscle tone. <laughs> Nothing? Tough crowd. This went south very fast. I will be distributing a copy of the dress code to every student. You can plead ignorance today, but not tomorrow. Which is picture day, don't forget. No chance of that. Sorry, that was an involuntary response to the words picture day. So, I gather you're not happy with the dress code. Up until yesterday, we didn't even know we had one. And everything worked just fine. Did it? Then why am I here? This used to be the third ranked middle school in the city. Now it's 10th. Out of how many schools? 162. So that's what, a 4.3% drop? Her test scores are still very high, but her socks may be too colorful. <sighs> still not exercising that sense of humor, I see. But this prison garb is against dress code. Since when? Since just now. You can't do that. No, oh, but I can. It's in another pamphlet called, Oh, but I can. <laughs> Consider my sense of humor exercised. I liked it better before he was funny. And now, you can either go home and change, or just stay home until you decide that your education is more important than your wardrobe. You'd suspend us just for what we're wearing? Guys, come on, you've had your fun, and then let me do my job. I'm your principal, not your prison warden. Are you gonna suspend all of these kids? Ugh, that's not gonna help this school's academic standing. My principal, okay? Yeah, that's right, it's your body, your clothes, your style. There you go, thank you for joining the cause. Here you are, thank you for joining the cause. I'm the principal here. Oh, thank you for joining the cause. Leave the premises immediately or I will call the police. No need. I'll go. And I'm confiscating this box. All yours. Do any of you know who that woman is? Let me put it another way. Do any of you who wish to graduate with the rest of your class know who that woman is? Yeah, I know who she is. I'm glad you could make it. I don't know if you remember me. We met in the parking lot. I'm the new principal, Dr. Metcalf, and I <laughs> have been looking through your permanent record. May I see it? No. And yours had been empty until today. Oh, it's like my permanent record had a baby. <sighs> Could maybe talk about adjusting the dress code if you and your friends agree to never wear prison uniforms again, and you agree never to pass them out again. Andy? I can live with those terms. So can I. Shall we shake on it? Is 
that right? Is that how you land a protest? I don't know. This is the first time I've ever won. <laughs> uh-huh. You're the kind of kid that made me want to be a principal. Ha ah, I knew it! It's all Sudoku. <laughs> In your face. And you're the kind of kid that made me want to be a dentist. Get out. Okay, yeah, go, go, go. Andy, we're trying something different today. Please step over to the table marked A. Jonah, you're over there at the B table. Can I be at the B table too? No, you cannot. Buffy, you go to B. Cyrus, you're at the A table. Everybody, come on. Denise, B. Aaron, A. Farah, B. Wristbands. Are we going somewhere? Why can't we be in the same group? Maybe someone in your group will sweat. <clears throat> Andy, these groups are not random. They were chosen according to very specific guidelines. Which are? Uh, uh, let me see. Oh, there they are. None of your business. Everybody stay with your group. No intermingling. Very important. Stay with your group. I want something sweeter, you see. Something to show, show that you love What's going on? Also wrong. Today's exercise is over. There's no more group A, there is no more group B. And we're not eating cookies off the floor, Denise. Can anyone tell me the point of today's exercise? It's about privilege. It's about one group thinking that they deserve more than another. Just because of the color of their wristband. But the people in group A were better. Better at what? Good question. How did I decide who got to be in group A? It was completely random. Wrong. I don't know. You just said Andy, group A, Buffy, group B. Keep going. Keep going? Going where? Cyrus, group A. Denise, group B. Aaron, group A. Vera, group B. You used the first letter of our names and just went back and forth. Right. So it was every other letter. A, C, E were in the A group. B, D, F were in the B group. And so on. Nobody here is better than anyone else. Nobody anywhere is better than anyone else. A lot of problems wouldn't even be problems if we all just accepted that simple fact. I hope you all learned that today. Because the school board has hired a social sensitivity consultant and she's asked for all your feedback. <laughs> later, later. In writing. And we need people to clean up. I choose all of you. <laughs> and then I'll wake you up because you'll be dreaming. And then I'll wake you up because you were dreaming about waking me up. And then I'll... Hmm? Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> I'll take that. No skateboarding inside school or on school grounds. Dr. Metcalf, we weren't skating. I was just holding it. Holding is a gateway to riding. You can pick it up after school. Are those leggings? All right, we changed the dress code, didn't we? Carry on. What is his problem? Not his hearing. Ears working just fine. Did you know they do tattoos here? It's the same guy who designs a lot of the decks. He's really good. Would you ever get one? Mm. I mean, probably not. Nothing like that for sure. Yeah, you do that if you're in a punk band. Or a motorcycle gang. Or prison.
What are we going to do when we see Metcalf? My plan was not to see him for the rest of the year. And all the next. Or we could pretend that it never happened. Pretend what never happened. You saw your principal outside of school? No. Not at all. Really? Oh, it's weird for me. That's Extremely true. weird. Anything you want to ask me? Nope. I'm, I'm good. You're not curious why your principal has a lot of tattoos? Of course Duh. we're curious. Each one tells a story. This is my first. And the story is, uh, well, I was 18 and I wanted a tattoo. Wow. I know, you're thinking I'm cooler than you thought I was, aren't you? No, I was actually thinking that now I can't ever get a tattoo because it's something teachers do. You wouldn't. Oh. 